Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Now we are less than 24 hours away from Operation Jade Helm 1-5 being conducted. Now, there's a lot of things I want to talk about. The fact that the mainstream media continuously tries to demonize InfoWars.com on its coverage of Jade Helm. But conspiracy theories are running wild tonight about the Army's plan for a multi-state training exercise this summer called Jade Helm 15. Texas will be simulated hostile territory. While that hostile characterization didn't sit well with a far-right radio host in Austin who told his listeners that he had access to the secret document that details a federal takeover in Texas. The fact that so many Americans really just don't even trust the government since the Obama administration has been in place. And it has nothing to do with race. We don't like Bush either. But things have really gotten bad since he has been the president of the United States. And like Ted Cruz said, there's nothing wrong with people questioning the government. That is our right as Americans. We're supposed to question the government because I'll tell you what, our government will question us all the time. So we have to flip that around on them and try and find out what's going on and expose the truth. Now, there's a number of things that the mainstream media has been doing. They say that we try to fear monger, that we're basically giving birth to this paranoid group of Americans about Jade Helm, when in fact they do the exact same stuff except even worse because they have a much larger following. Fox News, CNN, millions and millions of people all around the world watch these places. And in the days coming up to the 4th of July weekend, what did they do? They said there was going to be an imminent attack by ISIS on the 4th of July weekend. That's fear-mongering. They had no proof of that happening whatsoever. And the 4th of July came, and nothing happened. You hear nothing from the entire populace of Americans complaining, hey, why are you guys pushing this? Why are you doing this? But I guarantee you, when Jade Helm comes and goes, and nothing happened, the same thing's going to happen to us. They're going to demonize us again, going, oh, my God, look at these kooky tinfoil hat people that said that there was going to be an overthrow of the, uh, the government and that they were going to take your guns and nothing happened. Oh, my God. Um, that's ridiculous because they're doing the exact same stuff. They fear monger more than anybody. Every time you turn on one of those TV shows, it's the most depressing thing in the world. And all we're trying to do is look at these documents and slides and go, hey, this needs to be questioned. This needs to be looked at. And we're not the only people who think that because Governor Greg Abbott of Texas thinks the exact same thing. He's listened to his constituents and is now going to have the Texas State Guard monitoring the Jade Helm 1-5 exercises. You have Chuck Norris coming out saying, hey, if you don't know about Jade Helm, you should. There's a lot of people around the world who are concerned about it, and all eyes are going to be on Texas, Utah, Southern California, and Florida over the next two months to see whether or not there's a takeover or if nothing happens. But there's one thing I can tell you will happen, a conditioning of the people. And that's what we've said since day one. This will be used as a tool to condition the American public to seeing military roaming up and down the streets in Humvees, helicopters flying at night, exercises being conducted. Now, someone inside, special ops, saying that there will be no media access uh, granted to any type of news agencies out there to cover this. But time and time again over the past, media has been allowed to go cover these events. Now, what were they thinking when they released this statement? This adds further speculation to what's going on with Jade Helm. We've already caught the architects of Jade Helm in a lie numerous times. They said that the people, the private landowners, came to special operations and requested that their land be used for an operation that they didn't even know existed. When, in fact, SOCOM came out there, knocked on the door and said, hey, can we use your uh, land and we're going to give you money? They denied giving money, but the mayor of Big Spring, Texas, came out and said, in fact, that the government approached them and also was giving them money. So over the next two months, we're going to be out here covering these stories. We're going to try to go to different locations across Texas, maybe some of the other states as well, to bring you guys up-to-date information. But I want to ask a favor from each and every single one of you out there watching this video right now. If you live in one of these areas where these missions will be uh, conducted, Please get off the couch, go out, grab your camera, go rent a camera, get a, a, a cheap little uh, Polaroid, something, take pictures, and email us at showtips at infowars.com with these videos so you can help us get this information out to the people who want to see it. So once again, thank you for watching this video. My name is Joe Biggs with infowars.com.